I'm coming. Hey guys. So, in what now feels like forever ago, there was a Darkstalkers comic book series by Udon Comics, which ended on a cliffhanger of sorts. Well, after years of waiting, there's finally a follow-up. Not only that, it's a crossover. So today, we'll be taking a look at Street Fighter vs. Darkstalkers, issue number zero because, well, who starts a story with issue number one anymore? Crazy people, that's who. There are four variant covers available. This one features various lovely Capcom ladies who will probably not even appear in the actual comics at any point in the future. The art is really kick-ass though, like really really seriously kick-ass. Probably my favorite cover of the bunch. This seriously needs to be turned into a poster. There's also this cover, which features a cutesy style Lilith, on top of defeated Street Fighter dudes. Unlike the previous cover, Lilith does actually appear and have an important role in this issue. The most interesting cover is this third one, which happens to be a parody of the classic promotional poster for Frankenstein meets the Wolfman. So freaking cool. There's also a fourth cover that can be obtained online only. As I mentioned earlier, there was a Darkstalkers comic book series by Udon before and the story ended right when the story of Vampire Savior is supposed to start. Now, this crossover appears to take place during the events of said game and it starts with Jeddah going back to the Makai to confront Ozum. It later focuses on Rashid and Azam as they raid Anakari's tomb who later wakes up from his slumber and fights the two of them. This scene has a funny parody of the famous aliens meme and the overall tone and writing for the characters is spot on. Not going to talk much about it or spoil it, but this comic is more enjoyable than I actually expected it to be. The art is really nice, and the style makes me think of, well, French comic books for some reason. It looks really nice and detailed, the characters are super expressive, the fights are easy to follow and fun, and everything is just very colorful. It still keeps some of the darkness and violence that Darkstalkers is actually known for, while also embracing the silliness and coolness of Street Fighter. Unlike the previous manga series I talked about a few weeks ago, Lilith seems to be pretty evil in this one. While I don't think that this comic is quite as good as those mangas yet, it's kind of early and it's actually really short so there's really no way it could be. Still, it's overall a pretty solid start for the series and I will be reading the rest for sure. Darkstalkers is one of my favorite series out there overall so I would have given this a chance anyways. <laughs> the next issue is supposed to come out April 5th. If you'd like to read this comic book yourself, but are having doubts, I can tell you that you don't really need to have read any of the previous Darkstalkers comics to actually enjoy it. While it seems to continue where they left off, it's telling a brand new story. You'd just be missing out on background stories for the characters, and that is only if you didn't already know them from the games. Another thing to note is that there are actually 5 mini comics that take place before this one. They appeared at the end of the 4 issues of Kami Legends, and at the end of Street Fighter Unlimited issue number 11. These are very skippable, but fun reads. Comic book stores in my area don't really stock up on single issues from Udon, which might be the case in your area as well, so if you want to buy these, you might have to have them special ordered from your shop. Of course, an alternative would be to just wait for the eventual hardcover compilation that will undoubtedly be released in the future. There's a Kindle edition available as well from Amazon. Well, that's it for today. If you like this video, don't forget to like and or subscribe. Until next time!